Major corporations are making moves to curb racism in retail. Walmart says they will no longer lock up African-American beauty care products behind glass cases. Critics of the practice said it implied black people are more likely to shoplift. Meantime, Sephora is the first retailer to sign the 15% pledge. It is a promise to use at least 15% of its shelf space to sell products from black-owned businesses. Currently, only seven out of the 290 brands Sephora sells are black-owned. Richelieu Dennis is the founder and chair of Essence Ventures. He's also the founder of Sundial Brands and the New Voice Fund, which support, supports black female entrepreneurs. He joins us live now. Richelieu, thank you so much for being with us. So Sephora says it's going to dedicate 15% of its shelf space to black-owned businesses. What are your thoughts on that? Is that a good first step or should more be done? Well, I think it's a good first step, but certainly more should be done because it's not just a matter of dedicating the shelf space. It's making sure that the brands have an opportunity to be successful on the shelf. It's also making sure that the brands have the, the, the resources to set them up for success before they ever get on the shelf. So, so I think it's a great first step. And I think it's, it's uh, first of all, it's about time. Um, uh, and it is a great first step. But we have a lot more work to do other than sort of announcing that we're going to we're going to have 15 percent of the brands on the shelf. Now we have to do the real work of making sure that those brands are successful when they get in store um, and that they're they're sustainable uh, on the shelf and that they can drive real value uh, for the for the, the, the founders and the companies that are that are uh, bringing these brands forward. All right, so we should we should lord them at least for taking the step in the right direction. But I want to let our viewers know uh, one statistic that I found that I'm sure you're familiar with. In 2018, only one percent of venture capital dollars went to black startup founders. Only one percent. Now, I have my theories as to why I think that is, but I'm going to let you take over and tell me your thoughts on that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's it's now. Um, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful that now people are starting to, to understand these facts and, and, and realizing uh, these inequities. Um, my thought was, you know, from, 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 from having built a brand, especially in the beauty business, that uh, fought for many, it took us 16 years to get on a, on a retail shelf because we felt that the systems and structures that were set up were set up inherently to see us fail. And so, um, that is that is sort of the same sort of approach. These systemic racist structures that, while companies and brands may not realize exist or may not do them intentionally, um, because of, of of biases, get set up in ways that that make it difficult for our brands to to be seen. And one of them is funding um, and and capital. And so, what we ended up doing was launching uh, the New Voices Fund which is a $100 million fund to invest in, um, uh, in, in black women and entrepreneurs. And so we've done that over the past three years, and we've seen tremendous success in all of these brands, or many of the brands today that you're seeing on shelf, that stay on shelf, and that scale and grow are coming out of, coming out of the New Voices uh, funds, brands like Mayel and Lip Bar and mm -hmm. Honey Pop. And so, so the reason, though, I think was... The, 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 the capital structures were not only um, set up to discriminate against um, uh, 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 men, uh, but they were particularly set, men of color, they were particularly set up to discriminate against women of color. And so many of those ideas are now being called to question and are and now being called to task. And so you're seeing a lot of reflection and correction starting to happen, but it's still early days. We've got a long way to go. We've got, we've got right. a lot of work to do. But the, 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 the fact of the matter is that when given the opportunity, brands like Shea Moisture before them and brands like Honey Pot mm -hmm. and Lip Bar and, and, and some of these other brands are proving that they cannot just get on the shelf, that they cannot just stay on the shelf, but that they can take these investments from, from, from VC firms and deliver outsized returns.
And, I, you know, I actually just hope that with all the attention we're seeing on this issue because of the Black Lives Matter movement and the protests, that the changes are actually going to be long term and not just short term while the spotlight is on these corporations. But Richelieu Dennis, we have to leave it there. I just ran out of time. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hope you're safe and well.